and welcome back to Music for Gaming here on YouTube. I hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous day, and uh, be sure I'm on the right screen over here. Okay, <laughs> hope you're having a fabulous day. It is great to be here this lovely Tuesday. Um, now, admittedly, I uh, was getting my face sandblasted on the walk home, but uh, gotta love high wind warnings and stuff, right? Absolutely. And apparently, you can get uh, free COVID tests in a tree down the block from where the uh, COVID clinic is here. So, you know, we got that going for us, too. <laughs> it was uh, a little fun to see. Anyway, um, it's great to have you here. Um, I'm going to be uh, recording for, for a video today, so uh, that's going to be fun and exciting. And uh, I'm also going to be in Create Mod, which is also fun and exciting. So, I think what we'll do is make sure I'm all in good places for where I need to be on my side. Because that's, that's fun, right? Not that any of you can tell. Is, is the stream running? Yes. Okay. Good enough. All right. <laughs> all right. No. So, I'm going to do an intro for the video. And then, of course, then tell all of you what all is going on. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, also, I think, yeah, I'll deal with that in a minute. All right. So let us get started. And welcome back to the Create Mod here on Music Free Gaming. It is great to have you here. And I am excited. It was a busy weekend the other day. It was, it was General Conference weekend. Didn't get a lot of time to record, but I did get a lot of time to get these. That's right. I now have more nether stars than I will probably need, maybe. I have 50 of them. I have a wither skeleton farm now that dumps all the wither skeletons, and it is awesome because I need to go diggy diggy today. That's right. I've got a couple of projects that need to be done, and the first one involves lots of digging all right now i just realized i am wearing a helmet here instead of my goggles because i had to go to the nether to build my uh oops no i want those okay okay that goes there yes now i've got my goggles on yay So, let's go craft up some beacons, <clears throat> because that is fun and exciting. I could have started with the beacons, I, su beacons, I suppose, but honestly, this was more fun doing it this way. So, starting with the stars, because they're just more exciting, right? Is that the... I don't know. Nobody sees beacons. Everyone sees stars, right? That's just... Well, 25 beacons. That's, uh, that'll work for now. That'll work. So, throw those in a box somewhere. I really need a valuables box here or something. But, let's, uh, go ahead and grab some stuff for a beacon, because this is definitely going to be... Necessary. What is it? Two stacks? Plus uh, an ingot here, probably. All right. All right. So let's see now. Let's get out here and then I'll uh, we'll get into the rest of this. Whoa, train. <laughs> let's not get run over by a truck. That would be bad. Definitely. Uh, Got some stuff in need of cobblestone going on up here. I don't know what. Probably... It's calling for cobblestone. Oh, yeah. The, um... This guy. The Observer Maker. Cool. Hey, Grim. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. All right. Yep. Glad to have you here. All right. 
so the first project I've got for the episode today is I need to extend and expand my train scheduling setup. Unfortunately, that's going to require a little bit or actually probably a lot of digging. So I'm going to start here, set up a beacon now that I have beacons and uh, get a little haste too and <laughs> make this a whole lot easier. Ah, oh, man. All right, so let's, um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. yeah, this is probably fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, four. Yeah, we'll just set this up here. This will be fine. The good news is all of this, oops, all of this is going to extend out over the, the, the mechanical belt, but the belt's not going to care, so I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, right, so now I could use um, one of my mining machines. I've got stuff that makes drills and things, or I've got drills. I don't have to make them. I already have them, but I'm, I've got a lot of stuff going on over here, and I'm not entirely sure I... I want to trust my drills to it, so that's just going to have to wait. Fortunately, you know, Haste 2 Beacon, I don't have to dig out a lot, so this should go fairly quick, I, I'm hoping anyway. But, of course, step one, I've got to build the stupid beacon. <laughs> I think I actually have enough emerald. I could have done this out of emerald, but... Whoa. I seriously miscounted there. Because I thought it was two stacks and stuff. Maybe it's three. I don't know. I don't build beacons very often. Fortunately, I have plenty of iron. I'll grab another stack. Why not? Iron is easy. I am going to have to craft up a bunch of stuff for the train scheduling bit here because that's oh, looks like the trucks are done because I am going to need brass funnels all over the place and andesite funnels for that matter. Well, I guess I, okay, it's two stacks and, and a little more cool. Oh, there it goes. There's the the advancements or achievements or whatever they are. Ah, uh, happy, happy, happy. So let's go ahead and get this guy charged up. I want haste two, which goes there, and we're done. Oh, this is gonna be so much nicer. Okay. Cool. So. Where this is going is down here. And I'm going to have to dig out this way. Fortunately, I have more than enough uh, torches to keep this this area well lit. Um, do, I, do I have space up here? I do have a little space. So good. I can add a little headroom if I need to. Also, I could, instead of torches, use... Uh, other fun stuff like frog lights or other frog lights or maybe even frog lights. Okay, yes, I could use glowstone, but glowstone is ugly as heck and I don't want to deal with, deal with that. That's not any fun at all. But I also have a zillion and a half frog lights, so that might really be the way to go. Okay, is this... How far do I want this to go? That's the other question. And it's not a question I have a good answer to. Do I have a... Yes, shovel. Oh, I didn't rename the shovel. So... So I mentioned in the intro that... Uh, I ended up with... A, a nice, happy little... Uh, uh, wither skeleton farm. And I did, and it's wonderful, and it's happy. I did die uh, a couple times building that. 
had to replace a lot of gear. That was less fun than it sounds. So, you know, these things happen. All right, I need some knives. And all right, so this is gonna go this way, cool. But it's a nice farm. Not a. It's. I built a farm. It's, it's uh, designed by Ian X04, and Ian's designs are are pretty awesome and amazing. Um, really simple and really powerful for their their simplicity. So I was very happy to have get that built. But man, turns out. Fire resist potions are really, really helpful when uh, when dealing with stuff. Yeah, especially, you know, like blazes and things. I'm not sure I actually want to worry about digging out any more headroom here. I do want to dig out this copper. I really do want to set up a copper farm, speaking of Ian XL4. Um, he has a really nice, I think it's him has a really nice copper farm design. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm still, still debating on that one. All right. So this is okay. So I've got now spots for what's it, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Okay, but about 25 more things. Let's, uh, I'm gonna dig out some this way. I'm not gonna get into this side yet, but I think I wanna know where I'm going with the this side of the scheduling system. It's, uh, it's gonna be a special breed of fun, I'm sure. I really like this system. Uh, is it the most advanced scheduling system in the world <laughs> not even a little bit but it works great um, and it gives me a lot of flexibility for moving items around with with only a couple of trains and I've got space to add a third one um, I just don't know if I need it yet I don't know if I need the third one yet though so having the uh, extra train running around would probably be kind of nice at some point. All right. Yeah, because this is going to come out. So basically what I'm thinking of on this side is I'm going to mirror what I've got here, but I can't put another funnel on that same belt. So that means I've got to do a lot of magic and stuff and spread out this way, which in all honesty is not necessarily a bad thing. Actually, it's not a bad thing at all. It's just, um, I could set, set it up. I can come through right here, coming a one block spacer between this other belt. It's not bad, not bad. So, yeah, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five blocks that I would need. Oh, I'm loving having haste again. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so right back to about there. Okay, and then I could have space for more and do other things, but if anything, though, I think I... If, and depending on how much I have to expand this uh, signaling system, I think I may actually want to make it go further that way. Oh, I am full up. Cool. Um, and the reason for that is that if I extend that way, I can worry about signaling some other farms and stuff that are further out. I might talk about that a little bit more as I progress through the video here because I had actually ran into a uh, 
a problem with my current system. Not with how it works, but with how far away it is from some of my other stuff. Alright, so, yeah, that'll be, yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go do this out here. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier now. There's some of the stuff I dug out with my machines just because I didn't have haste and this is so much faster. Alright. Alright, I think I can live with that. Let's go... Let's go get some of the stuff I'm going to need to make this... Make this work. Yeah. This will be fine, so... Yeah, okay. This is going to be fine. So I'm going to need a bunch of barrels. Bunch of funnels of varying colors. Redstone, redstone links, all that good stuff, so... Cool. I'm wearing boots, yep. Oh, I love this ceiling. Such a... It's a real pain in the neck to do. Get all those uh, stone cutters in place, but... Man, it looks good. Oh, don't need soul sand anymore. Now that I'm done blowing up withers. Oh, I had an empty shulker box. I guess I could have used that. All right. Let's get some stuff. I I have iron, that's lovely, but what I do not have, just don't have over here, is kelp. Kelp blocks, I think, end up in this chest, because I've got a, a rule that says compressed dealy bobs come over here. All right. Have I considered building a create mod contraption to kill the ender dragon? No. Honestly, it's not worth it. Um, after you've killed the dragon the first time, the first dragon kill you get a lot of XP. After that, it's, I mean, you get a bunch, but honestly, a good enderman farm is uh, really more worth, uh, more worth the time, I think. Um, right. I need kelp. And an Enderman farm can be combined with a Skulk fa factory. You can have all sorts of fun with it. Uh, this is one of the things I have to hook up, is the thing to pick up my kelp blocks, because they're just kind of stuck here at the moment. Mm. Yeah, this will be fine. I'm not using that much right now. I also need to be sure I've got all of the signaling right so my trains can actually get out there and get back. That's the... That's another fun bit. Oh, do I have... Do I have redstone available? That's... Okay, I've got some. It just occurred to me I probably don't have a, a lot of electron tubes. I've got a few, but that's not a lot. Oh, so many machines I need to build so I can build other machines. You know, that's just how it goes. Um, all right, I think it's my... I don't know if my redstone machine is... Redstone's done sucking stuff up, but I don't think it is, but... Oh, well. Alright, well, let's go get this stuff polished. Yeah, the other thing I have to do is head out to the nether and just... Basically, plow the nether. I need a lot of nether rack. Okay. All right, this should be should be enough. It's not a lot of um, it's not a lot of that stuff, to be honest. Because I've got the I've got all the hardware set up to 
to automate redstone. But the the problem is that you can't automate uh, nether rack. Did I get all the gold out of here that I was harvesting? I did. Okay. So, yeah. Not that I needed the gold right. Oh. I don't think I ever pulled out all of the. Oh, maybe I did. All of the uh, smashed iron that I was working with. That's going to be have to end up on the list here fairly soon is, is the ironworks. Because I need a place where I can... What did I do with all the iron? I know I didn't use it all. Um, maybe I did. I don't know. But I need a place to automate, you know, getting all the iron sheets and other irony goodness. Well, I have plenty of iron on me, so if I need to smash... 12. I, I can do that. Alright. Okay, I've got a few sheets. I should still smash some. Is create mod um, confusing to use? Not really. At least, I don't find it confusing. Um, but, I'm also a programmer. <laughs> so, um, in all honesty, create is not that bad. You can... You can get started fairly easily. Um... Oh, hey, I did leave some here. Cool. Um, so, for example... Oh, let's... Here, let me sh show you at the my tree factory. Because th these are... This is an example of something that could be complicated, but is actually really easy. So, let me just free camp for a minute. So, what I've got is... I've got a... a Rotational bearing dealy bob here. Connected to a, a deployer and a mechanical saw. The saw will cut down the trees. The deployer will replant saplings. It's really, really simple. It basically at its simplest. If I can make my way through here. It kind of looks like this. Though this has drills for all the bamboo. I don't know why the bamboo doesn't use saws, but it uses drills, so whatever. Um, so it's that's, those types of things are fairly simple. And then you can just daisy chain machines together. Right? You just take storage, and I have it, in this case, running across some mechanical saws. So it strips the logs, and it saws again to strip the into planks. That whole thing, it looks sort of complicated. But when you break it down, yeah, here's a better look at one of the machines here. When you break it down, it's actually, each of these is a pretty simple mechanism. And you could power it all easily. Like one of my first contraptions, it's still running over here, is, let me get, get down, get down, get down, is this guy, this mechanical harvester that's harvesting my wheat field. It's just a windmill. On a windmill bearing, some blocks, and the harvesters. And every time this goes through, you can see it harvests the uh, wheat, it replants it. And when it connects over here, it drops it off. So starting with the basics is really easy. Where It, it can get complicated when you start wanting to build, uh, well, more complicated machinery. But you can start with the basics and get some of that simple automation done fairly, fairly easily. But then where things get really complicated is if you want to do something, well, complicated with a lot of moving parts. But even then, most of it, if you, as long as you keep each step in mind, it's pretty straightforward. So for example, I have in here a potion, potion brewing factory, which looks like I need to feed some blaze powder, but we'll solve that problem a little bit today. And the way this all works, it gets, there's a lot of moving parts. Again, let me free cam over here. But basically I can, I can drop in 
like blaze rods, they get ground up, and then they get sucked into the system, and then I can just feed them into a mixer that generates these potions, right? And so there's a, this is a fairly complicated machine, but you don't have to start here, right? If you, this is even more complicated. This is an automatic um, potion enhancer. So I can feed it potions and it will add redstone, glowstone, or uh, gunpowder as necessary. So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's not, it's not bad you, starting with the simple stuff. And then, yeah, if you want to, depending on how big and convoluted and crazy you want your machines to get, they can get crazy. <laughs> That's, but I, I like it, man. I've, I've played a couple of other modded uh, mod packs and things like some of the feed the beast things. Uh, I think I did um, ocean block and I did a little sky block. I'm sorry, ocean factory and sky factory. And man, I could, it was so foreign to me. It just, everything was just not right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I think, I know how to Minecraft. Why can't I Minecraft? And yeah, it just got to be a pain, you know? And create mod, you can take your, your basics and, and sit, basically just do vanilla, really, until you're ready to move on to do something else and, and grow and make things more complicated. All right, I need barrels. All right. Oh, yeah, that light that turned on? That says, give me more planks. And that's coming from my oak factory over here. So it's dumping out of storage vaults. And if this starts getting low enough, it'll start feeding uh, the stripped wood over here to make more planks, logs to make more stripped wood, and start cutting down more oak trees. Excuse me. So it's going to be... Uh... So that's really fun. It's like, it's almost, but not quite like being in creative. Okay, that was... That was really weird. I don't know what that... What am I kidding here? All right, no, nope, no, nope, we got it. We're fine. I'm definitely hitting a weird button. All right. And my sorting system. Oh, man. Talk about simplicity itself. This is the sorting system. You just set some filters on these funnels and a mechanical arm. And as things come across the belt, it just sticks them in chests. No weird... Mine carts, none of that weirdness. It's just, hi, here I am. We will do the thing. Okay, I think this is going to be all I need. Um, it's possible I'm, I may need to craft up a few more things, but I should be all right. Um, I've got an ender chest on me, so... So that'll make things easy. Probably should have brought a bed, but it's okay. All right, so scheduling. Yeah, you know, just for ease of use for myself. Oh, I threw all of the. All right, hang on. I, I need more stone. Let's go pick up the stone. Where's my ladder? Now, there are a few things that are, that do get confusing. Trains, for example, can get a little confusing. Cool. Super powerful. But, uh, stone. There we go. But definitely a little bit confusing. Okay. Just because the, the train schedules are 
Uh, not as they're not quite as clear as I would like them to be, and there's some weird interactions. We'll deal with some of that here in a little bit, but for now, let's go ahead and drop down some things. All right, and step one, let's grab some belts and some shafts. Okay. All right, so that's as far as this one can go. Cool. You know, I think I'll just go ahead and belt that up. All right. And now, this guy's going to come out this way somewhere. Wrench. These, these have a maximum length of 20 blocks. All right, and let's go ahead and just dig this thing out. But yeah, I like I like Create Mod, um, especially because it it sticks as far as the basic uh, gameplay of how it runs so close to just being vanilla, and I love that because like I know how to play Minecraft. I don't want to have to relearn how to play Minecraft. And honestly, I like vanilla Minecraft. So I don't like like the Tinker's Construct, which is in so many mod packs and things like that. I don't necessarily want to do, oh, some of those mods that say, all right, you get all your stuff by breeding chickens or stuff. It's like, okay, I guess that's a thing, but that feels almost a little too, I don't say too cheaty, but Definitely too, I don't know, something. All right. Um, oh, yeah, let's go that way. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just run barrels down this way. Now, on the other hand, I did use create mod to move uh, mob spawners, so, you know. Speaking of cheaty. <laughs> but, you know, still. Oh, buttons. I forgot to bring buttons. That's all right. It's not going to hurt anything. I know where my storage is. So. But yeah, if you're looking for a sort of an easy step into a modded, into modded Minecraft and don't want to dive all the way into one of those major, uh, major mod packs, this is a good one to start with. All right, where am I? Okay, I'm practically right under the beacon. Um, no. Given where I'm expanding out to and the range of redstone links. Yeah, let's go ahead and expand out this. Oh, hello. Hello, gravel. Let's expand out this way a bit. Oh, I suppose I could have switched back to my netherite pickaxe. I put that in my ender chest before I went into the nether. I wasn't that stupid <laughs> when uh, I set out to build my wither skeleton farm um, on the other hand uh, yes I mean I did die so I guess it was a good choice but then I forgot to go get it again so oh, all the gravel all right so we're gonna come out this way a bit now Oh, good. Some of the zinc. Yeah, there are a few things that uh, definitely start running into resource restrictions. Uh, copper and zinc are one of them. Because you use, you use them to create brass, uh, which all of the fancy create equipment it uses, or most of it. The 
fluid stuff uses just copper, but the pretty much if there's anything that's got any brains to it, it uses um, it's going to use brass and oh, copper. I can, you can build I said vanilla copper farms and they work great. Um, but I not need stone. Cool. You know, I've got an empty shulker. Uh, let's try Bring this down there. Definitely drop off some of that stuff. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to come out this way a bit. All right, well, this seems like a reasonable place to come out to. All right. Yeah, because the, the redstone links, which I use for all of the signaling, have a maximum range of, I think it's, it's like 128 blocks or something like that, which is a lot, but also not as much as one might hope. <laughs> Yeah, see, I wouldn't mind if the signaling ended up crossing the ravine, but I think for now, for now, I think we're going to be good. Where's my go? All right, we'll wire that up. Cool. And so let's meander out this way a bit. And connect that up. All right, and let's just expand it out to as far as it will go. And that's it, okay. Well, that's good to know. Nice and convenient there. All right. So that'll give me plenty of room. I don't need the, need, um, I'm definitely not going to need that much room right now. So I only have like eight or ten things I have to add to my scheduling system. But there are definitely a few things that are out this way. Like my my mob farm is out there a little bit. In fact, yeah. And what was the... There was something out there that I needed that was, it was too far out to effectively signal for, for something. Oh, it was my potion brewer. Oh, could, yeah, my potion brewer couldn't signal for stuff that I needed. So, because it's, well, it's out. It sits under the factory here. Okay. It's weird that that missed, but okay. Um, yeah, everything should be flowing through here just fine. I really need to clean this up and make it easier to see what's going on, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, the signal from here could not reach all the way over to my existing train signal over here. The radio link was just not strong enough. So yeah, that was that was a problem. All right. Cool, but I think we're in good shape here. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and run barrels. I might as well just set this up all the way out here. Um, or at least I'll get the barrels out there, even if I don't get the rest of the um, rest of the thing wired up. In fact, hmm. all right, that's going to have to come over and back over this way too. Okay. Honestly, the if you're diligent with with your paperwork with create mod 
And, and by that, I mean keeping track of uh, just what your, what your bits are doing. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward getting everything in place. But again, I say that I'm a programmer, so that's just sort of one of those things that I do. All right. Okay, so that'll go that way. Awesome. And then just to make life simple, I'm just going to put a barrel there. And what I'll do is, for now, everything will stop there. But, oh, no, I'll have to take out this one. Yeah. Just because of the way Minecraft works. You can't stack two thing two different blocks in the same space. Alright, so this is gonna go here. Now let's get some. Yeah, let's go and grab some andesite funnels. These guys are gonna come up here. So the way this system works is is actually really cool. Uh, and I talked about this in one of my other videos when I actually, when I set it up. But the idea is, I have a train schedule. That train schedule is filtered. So the only th that schedule is the only thing that this brass funnel will suck into the into the barrel. The redstone torch locks the funnel so that they won't sp spit the schedules back out onto this mechanical belt. When I use the radio link, this is wireless redstone, okay? Triggers this, this gets powered, turns off the torch, which unlocks the hopper or the, the funnel which spits the schedule up onto the belt and feeds it over here where this mechanical arm puts it on the, tra the train stations. And when you put a train schedule on a train station, it uh, does really good things, like tells the train where to go. And that is exactly what I wanted to do. So, yeah. So, basically, I end up with this... It's just lodestone down here. End up with this really nice uh, wireless uh, item dispatch system. And so, you can say, all right, I need something from this factory to go to some other factory. And then uh, it'll all come out this way and it said it works really well uh redstone chest there we go That's my redstone good i have sticks that's probably not enough it's also probably not enough but we'll bring some dust with us anyway and let's See how much further this needs to go. But yeah, you can see as those funnels light up, that's where this all... Uh... Oops, well, uh, it's easier to do it from the other side. I knew it was going to be, but still. Okay. Yep, this will all just this will all just be wonderful. Get all. Okay, and I think that last one isn't actually powering anything. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Alright, so now those are all locked. Now, I am gonna need some radio links. I've got thirty-five. That might <laughs> that'll be enough for uh the moment, anyway. And I 
So we need to get those. Let's get our brass funnels. Now. Oh, that's right. Actually, you know what? Let's leave them pointing out. They won't pick up anything. So basically, they'll just be sitting there ready until I set up a filter. So just in case something comes to call, we're going to be good to go. All right, next thing. I need to extend, extend that pipeline. So let's come back here. Oops. We'll put those away. Oh, I still have them. Yay! Can put those away though. Okay. Okay, so that's as far as that's gonna go. Can I bring this? Yeah. All right, yeah. Like, do I want to make this a block taller? It's going to just be easier for me to get around if I do. Okay. Oh, yeah, that... Uh, that's not going to confuse my system at all. Okay. Yeah, the mechanical arm isn't picking it up because it can't place it, so. Oops, that's not the right tool. Not even a little bit. Okay. Cool, so now I can get up there and do things. But what I need to do... Yeah. Again, none of that's going to matter. Hi, come here. I'm gonna do you actually exist? Okay, for now I'm gonna assume that that block is a figment of my imagination and uh move on. Anyway So this guy isn't gonna move anymore. Oops, not that. All right, that's as far as it goes. Cool. So I want to put another one there, there. Because those aren't going to interfere with anything coming this way. All right, again, not especially important, but. All right, and then, right, this comes over this belt. So this is going to come out this way somewhere around here. Okay. That should be good. And let's see if I can. Yeah, sometimes I'm okay at, at sort of guessing where everything needs to go. And I believe this guy can go right there. Yes. Cool. Let's go connect this up so that it uh, actually runs. Wonderful. And now it's running back the other way. Perfect. So items will get sucked out of these and then pushed up over there. Wonderful. All right. So yeah, so the the idea is when one of the radio link signals, the item gets pushed up onto this belt, fed that way to the arm, gets placed on the the uh, train station, shows the train to go, and then gets fed right back down this line, right back to where we need to go. All right, nice, 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 nice. So, 
Ah, itchy nose. All right. So that is that done. Now, radio links, which I have in my inventory. Okay. Probably not enough of them, but it's all right. Okay, so now these guys are need to get, going to need to come up here. Now, I think because of some of the issues I had um, with the potion factory, that's going to go here. Yeah, you set these. They start by default. They're on transmit, and you just right-click on them with the... Uh, uh, with the wrench, and it puts them in receive mode, and then that's how they receive their uh, the wireless signal. So yeah, makes wireless redstone a breeze. Again, some minor limitations, but stuff that it's fairly straightforward to deal with. And I think given. Well, those don't have to talk. I'm talking over here. Maybe a little bit over there. So, yeah, I'm going to... Nope, not like that. Not like that. Okay. Though that's interesting that it go that way. All right. Well, I think I'll stop there for now. Um... But yeah, some of the kelp stuff. Yeah, some of the kelp stuff I'm gonna to wanna to put over here and the potion signaling. The potion signaling I'm only off by a very small amount. I think I've got this set up over here. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got, I said the, the potion factory needs netherrack. Well, I have this thing over here for netherrack, but it's just out of reach. So I really just want to move it over that way, which is actually going to be easier to do. Uh, yep. Just, just make everything taller. That's the, that's the secret in Minecraft. You know, what's, how do I do everything? Just make it bigger. Just dig out more space than you think you're going to need because then it turns out you're actually going to need it and it's just going to save time later. So here I go, diggy diggy. Alright. Yeah, just dig out a bunch of this stuff. And we'll go and pick up all that other the stone I'm dropping down at the other end. That'll be great. Oh yeah, all the stone that I'm dropping. I don't want to be sure I don't have stuff. Too many spots where like a mob could spawn. Oh, that's only one block high, so mobs can't spawn there, but still. All right, let's hop down here and All right, clean up this whole mess, and I wish if you were holding an item and were right-clicking on the belts of the, where it's that same item, you would just pick it up. But that's not how this works, unfortunately. You have to have an empty hand. I don't need to save any of this stone. The andesite I want to save, but because that's important too. Because I don't have any, I don't have a factory set up to uh, to craft that, and you use it in a in a lot of things. Andesite alloy. That's what these are all made out of. So if you're ever wondering what the heck am I going to do with andesite, well, there you go. 
Fortunately, andesite is infinitely renewable. It, uh, well, actually, in Minecraft in general, but it's usually not worth the effort. But, uh, yeah. Because you can just craft it. It's, it's one of the regular crafting recipes. But you have to... But if you start with cobblestone, you can generate everything you need to do that. It's really cool. All right, so step one of many. All right. All right. I have most of this set up. I need more radio links, but I've got a good chunk over here. One of the first things I have to do is move the train schedule that calls for uh, nether rack and goes to the potions because it was just out of reach from the potion factory. So what I need to do is slide this thing down that way, probably actually to this, this guy right here. And that will probably be close enough that this will, uh, this will work for me. Let's double check, make sure that sucks in. All right, cool. Now I just need to move the radio stuff. And turn off uh, this one. So it's bottle nether rack, which means I need a bottle and I need nether rack. Yeah, it's, just, it's complicated. Uh, I do kind of wish you could just Okay, what's going on with the bouncy llamas? What? What are you doing up there? He must have walked in and fell through the hole. And now we've got llama yo-yos. I'll tell you, man, these uh, wandering merchants end up in the weirdest places. Anyway, as I was saying, ow, bottles and nether rack. I need bottles and nether rack. Okay, so nether rack. I think I still have some stuck out for here and overflow somewhere. Yep. So there's some nether rack and there's a bottle. I'll make this uh, a lot easier. Yeah, because that is one thing. It's a, a little bit annoying, maybe if you want to think of it that way. All right, well, that's getting sorted. Um, is that you have to have an item before you can set up a filter or set up a radio link that uses that item, which is okay. Um, but it does get a little bit annoying from time to time. Like, I just... I want to just set this filter up before I am getting everything. Can I do that pretty please? No? Okay. Oh, I forgot to get um, some, some buttons. Grab some oak for buttons. Okay, yes, I know. A few of those are jungle. It's okay. Not overly concerned about them not all matching. It's all right. It's, there are buttons that nobody's really going to see, so I'm kind of okay with it. All right. Is it? Yeah, I think I'm well enough lit out here. All right. Cool. Maybe I'm going to sneeze. Okay. Okay, okay. That's, uh, all right, bottle, and that's perfect. So now, that's worth testing. So right now it says I'm not getting bottle netherrack signal, 
which is fine. No, oh, sick. I'm gonna take the back door. Do I actually have a back door here anymore? I don't. Okay. I do have over here though. Oh yeah. Golem's still down there. Cool. Alright. Oh, the other nice thing about create mod? Infinite lava. All right, um, right, I need to hop up here, make sure this is... Okay, so this is broadcasting on... Bottle Netherrack. Okay, that's right. Okay, yeah, broadcasting Bottle Netherrack. Why is my thing than not doing what I think it should do. Again, it could just be a, a range issue, so. Um. Yes. Somewhere. Ah, there it is. Ow. Okay, so over here. Yeah, this should be not happening. All right. Cool. All right. Well, let's see how close I need to be then. Oops. Where's the bottle? There it is. An empty hand too. All right. So that's not on. Bottle. Nope. Bottle netherrack? Nope. I don't think I have to. I mean, I could end up having to go really far, I suppose. That would be, that would be really awkward. Bottle netherrack. Um. Hello. No, that's close enough. That's definitely close enough. Why is that not on? All right, this is this is the one part. It's not necessarily confusing. It's just back and forth. Because, yeah, this is not that far away. Well, I guess it could be, but I don't think so. Right. Let's make sure this is actually uh, wired up correctly. All right. Whoa. Uh, I don't want to be down here. I don't want to be down here either. Okay. All right. No, no. We're good. I'm just going to smash my face into my machinery. We're, we're fine. Everything is fine here now. Um, how are you? All right. Um, so, right. This is my... Okay, so that is on. It is transmitting. Bottle and netherrack. All right. And now, over here. It's not over here. Sorry, free cam is going funky. All right. Wow. Um... Is it really that far? It, it, I don't th didn't think it was, but maybe it's. All right, let's let's check now. This is at two hundred two minus thirty. Okay, two hundred two minus thirty. Let's check this. Two hundred two minus thirty. 
Okay. I said, I think these have a 120 block range. I suppose if I take this diagonally, that might be, hmm, that might be enough. Okay. 202 minus 30. So this guy is at, oh yeah, cause that's 43. So it's 70 blocks and, oh yeah, that I could totally see that I suppose. Um, I do have an extra radio link. Cool. Let's see how far we need to go. Sometimes it would be kind of nice to say, oh yeah, this is uh, this is totally how far you need to be. Um, torch? Yeah, that torch is lost forever. I'm not going to go get it. <laughs> Could I? Sure. Will I? Not even close. All right. Yeah, because if I have to run this all the way over here, I mean, I, it's doable. It's fine. Um, it'll work. It's just a little... Wow. All right. So I'm going to put this thing on receive. And netherrack. No. Okay. Onward we go. And it's going to get dark for y'all. Sorry. I suppose I could turn on Gamma Override or something, but... Wow. That's a lot further than I was thinking, so I may have to uh, rethink my plans here a little bit. It's all right. I, this, this is going to be fine. So come down here. And, oh, let's make this as sure it's on receive. And no. Okay. I suppose that is 20 blocks. Wow. Um, so I said 202, right? That's going to put it... I must be... What am I... Sounds like I'm close to critters, but... Oh, I guess... Yeah, it's my sheep farm. Okay. Or my... My little animal farm there. Don't worry. All of the animals are equal... Some of them are just more equal than others. You don't have to worry about it. They're, they have set themselves up a nice farming commune, and I'm sure nothing bad will happen to any of them. Those of you who have read Animal Farm. Uh, all right, so now this, I'm definitely close enough for this to work. And by close enough to work, I mean not work? What the hey? This is definitely close enough. And that is definitely on. And it's on transmit. It's not a receive radio. That is a transmit radio. And those lights are on. This should be working. Right here, this should be working. So, so if you've ever wondered why Mojang doesn't come out with something like, oh, why doesn't Mojang make uh, this this mod just part of the game? This is why. They have to debug all of these weird situations for every platform they support the game on. And it's not as uh, simple and easy as one might hope. Oh, you know what? I should have left that radio there. 
Alright, it's very possible I need to... I might have to just take the whole radio off and reset it, actually. So... This goes... here. Alright, we're on receive. Frequency 1 is bottle. Bottle. There we go. Frequency 2 is netherrack. Alright, we... Oh, I've lost my haste. I suppose I could always set up another beacon, but... This will just be easier. And it's not like I'm lacking in beacons now, right? I crafted up 25 of them just a moment ago. <sighs> See, this is one of the things I like about Minecraft, right? I like... I like the farming, I like the automation and stuff. I know people who are... Equally as passionate about Minecraft, can't stand any of that stuff. They they just like the uh, the decorative parts. Okay, and that's cool. That is totally cool. We can, and Minecraft allows us all to play however we want to, and that's that is awesome. So, yeah, if you want to, if you're not a, uh, one of those, you know, into redstone and automation and stuff, that's totally fine. And you can play all the different ways you want to play, and that is fabulous. All right. So, now the rack's going there. Okay. All right, I'm going to just take this guy off. Just see. All right, and just to be sure. Okay. That might have been it. It might have been stuck. All right. And this, so frequency one is bottle. Frequency two is netherrack. All right. Ow. All right. Oh, yeah. See, now, now that's on. I think that was it. I think the radio just got stuck. So, let's continue our test here then. How far this thing needs to go. There's my haste beacon again. Oh yeah, so it's reaching here. Okay, yeah, and it's reaching all the way over here. Okay, perfect. Perfect, so. Let's go ahead and drop off something. Because I need an empty hand. <laughs> All right. So this guy is done. And let's go pick this guy up over here. Okay. On the plus side, I now have a nice, easy way to get in this way. Might have actually been better to make this one block taller, but. Okay, just in case I actually want to use this tunnel for something, I've got a little bit more room. All right. All right, nice. So. Cool, yeah, we'll have plenty of space here, so. All right, so that guy is calling, and is there actually ever anything in it? That's the other question. Did I put the filter back? <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's go back. All right, so yep, that goes there. It's very possible. kind of sounds like it. Um, trains are there. They didn't go anywhere. Um, oh, there's the train schedule. Cool. All right. 
so now that's set up. Factory drop off. Another act potion drop off. Cool. All right. So now what should happen is oh right. That's why it went there. I need to uh, close that funnel off. Now that I took the filter off, there it goes. And get sucked in and back up and over and off goes the train. Perfect. Oh, right. I've got this set up. I've moved my potion netherrack call switch a little bit closer. <laughs> so, so the potion is now calling for netherrack. The trains are running. So, great. So that'll now brew up all the netherrack it can, or use the netherrack and grind it into redstone and everything else it needs. Oh, that is, that is nice. That is so nice. So now the next thing I'm going to have to do is start adding train schedules for a few other things, like blaze powder or, or blaze rods and stuff for the, for the potion factory. So that's why I've got radios down here so that it's a little bit closer and can actually reach all right nice so cool so that's doing its thing um i do need blaze rods or a blaze rod and some train schedules which are also helpful and i've got filters so yeah Um, do I have any stone? That's fine. Okay. Alright. Let's go get some train stations and hopefully not get hit by a train. Yeah. Those are both out doing their things, which is awesome. I think... I have to go look. I think you can actually... If I were to build a map, you would actually see the... See the trains on the map. Which would be really cool. Okay, so that can go in there. Let's just throw the kelp in there too. Um, diorite and grass. Okay. Okay. That should be good for the moment. I'm not going to be crafting up a zillion train schedules. Just a couple of them. All right, so, cool. All right, so one of the first things I'm going to need, oh, I should have grabbed, let's grab some oak. Some oak planks, because I need buttons. Should have grabbed those first. That's all right. I wasn't thinking about them. You know, that's the... That's the thing, right? You start get other things in your head, you're just not thinking about whatever else is going on. You know what happens? Oh, but that's an awesome sight, seeing my trains get netherracked to the factory. The problem is I don't have an infinite amount of netherite, so definitely gonna have to uh, be sure I go into the nether and get a bunch of netherrack. Oops, that's not where that goes. These are just here in case for manual override and, and testing. Right, so if I want to test, oh, yep, that one works. And just make sure the train schedule works and that type of thing, so. Yep. Nothing too crazy. Just, uh, oh, I also don't have my rockets on in my offhand like I should. So, or not my offhand in my hot bar. All right. Nice. So, actually, since I have this convenient bridge over here, um, it's probably potion blaze rod. 
potion blaze rod, potion magma cream, or probably I didn't get the blaze rods or the magma cream. Sweet. Yeah, so let's check here. Yeah. Bottle blaze rod and Oh, I don't even have the radio link up for the bottle magma cream, but okay. Cool. Well, let's meander over here and pick up the blaze rods and the magma cream. So that should, because the magma cream is for the uh, fire potion, fire resist potion. Okay, blaze rods are over here. All right, mob drops, there we go. Blaze rod and magma cream. So yeah, we'll set those set those schedules up first. They seem like a reasonable way to go. Alright. So we'll just Alright, we'll just go under. That's that's cool too. All right, now I want to be sure these reach, so should have gone on the other side. That's okay. That's okay. Well, everything is fine. I'm not at all confused by anything that I'm doing. No, it, it's all good. All right, so I need bottle blaze rod. Okay. Now... Is that, Oops. come on, free cam, you can do it. Oh, bottle blaze rod's not even on, so, okay, that's fine. Why don't I have, why isn't this brewing more? It's like, all right, I'm gonna have to, Check that, because that should be... Oh, probably because... Yeah. Alright. Let's go double-check some things. This is... Yeah, Grim asked earlier, Hey, is this, uh... Confusing? No, but as I said, you gotta keep track of everything. And that is sometimes... Not hard, but... Just a lot of... Did I actually set finish setting this up? You know, that type of thing. All right. Um, I actually happen to have scaffolding. Cool. Uh, yeah, right there. That's good. Cool. That should be on. Okay. Yep, I just didn't set it up correctly, so. Or should I... Set it down here. Oh, that's bottle blaze powder. Alright, now I need to figure out what the heck I'm doing. So that's calling for blaze rods. To be sure this is full. Okay. And then I have... Bottle this, but I'm not really doing anything with the blaze powder. I probably don't even need that there. Okay, but this is... This is definitely... Definitely should be on, though, so... Alright. I'm actually gonna make this... Have this fill up just a little bit more. Alright. Cool. So that's on. That's a, that's a good thing. That'll make this easier to uh, test. Okay. I should have brought some, just grabbed some ender pearls. That, that would be a little easier to get around here, I suppose. All right. So bottle blaze rod. Okay, and I need to make sure that this is in uh, receive mode over here, but I think it is. Okay, it's in receive mode, and it's on, which means it would 
absolutely be dumping stuff out there. That's perfect. Um, all right, so let's grab a filter. All right, we'll grab a filter and let's set up a train schedule. Yeah, now this is, so train schedules aren't too bad. They're just, a, they can just be a little bit. Thing. So basically you tell it, I want to go to um, Mob Farm, Blaze Rod, and I don't care if it goes to Blaze Rod 1 or Blaze Rod 2, so we'll just set a asterisk on that, and we'll, s um, I think I've been, well, five seconds is actually probably fine, um, and then travel to Potion Drop-Off. Yep, that's the one. Okay. And this one I want to wait for. Um, item condition. No. Cargo inactivity for... If I've been inactive for two seconds. Just basically wait there until it drops everything off. And then... Travel to station. Truck parking. Whatever. All right, and then turn off the loop forever so it will stop, okay? And this is the important part. When you set up a scheduling system like this, you want to turn loop forever off because if it's on, your trains will just go forever and it's not going to do anything else. But So if you turn loop forever off, it'll go, do its thing, and come back and stop until the next job, which could be this one, but... That's fine, the looping will be controlled by the sorting system, not by the train. So we'll do that. And I think I just set all of those to be that. So that's cool. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna need is a filter. And so you set up the filter, put the train schedule, but then tell it to respect data. That way, it actually pays attention to what's it on the train schedule. All right, so just make sure, yep, that's gonna go there. And now, my train schedule, blaze rods, drop off, truck parking, okay. Whoa, that did not get picked up the way I thought it was supposed to. You know what? I got to fix these ones. Okay. <laughs> All right. This guy. Glaze rod, potion, truck parking. Oh, that's why. Ha <laughs> ha. It needs to be facing in. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Cool. All right. So... Oh, what's... Oh, right, because I've got something come, calling for cobblestone. Yeah, so that's chugging up there, too. Okay, that's fine. So all of that's going... Now, what I should have on the big board over here... Yeah, factory nether rack, potion drop-off, nether, cobble... Yeah. Okay, now... Sweet... Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, assuming this is doing what it's supposed to, what I, sh what I should be seeing... Oh, okay. I want to get up here on this uh, tree. Is we should be seeing the trains. Right. There goes one. There goes another one. That, right, it's going to come over that way. Whatever. I don't know which what, what that one's doing. But the mob drop-off, or the uh, blaze rod drop-off is over here. Which should then end up dropping off, well, blaze rods. So, oops, not that way. Oh yeah, that's, so that's doing its thing, like blaze rods. 
Can't tell if this is... Yeah, that's almost out. So I, don't, I can't tell if the blaze rods are actually uh, making it here or not. Hello, trains. Where are you going today? Yeah, they'll make it. I think one of them should end up over here at some point. It's just a matter of how things get scheduled, I guess. Of course, I don't have any things over there. That one, of course, uh, all right. All right, well, I've, I've got a problem that I actually have a solution to. <laughs> All right, it just means I'm going to have to first not get hit by this train. That would be a win. Yes, and then I'm going to have to stop this... Nope, oh, there's a train, got a new schedule, and off it goes. Cool. Meanwhile, this thing's over here doing its... Uh... Okay. Oh, this is off. That's wonderful. And now this guy is theoretically waiting for stuff. But, unfortunately, got a little bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is I want to stop this. All right, so I've now stopped all of the trains. All right, so, or I've stopped the signaling system. So the trains will come, they'll finish whatever their current run is. And then I've got something to do here. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be, this is gonna be cool. Beacons, where did I stick the beacons? There they are. Okay, need a couple of those. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be cool. All right. So I think. Yeah, okay. All right, let me see. I've got, to, I've got to record a clip. Let's see, how do I want this to go? Okay, got it. All right. So, I've run into a problem. Okay, now, the problem is my area is too big. <laughs> right? You can see kind of, sort of, my... Mob farm is getting out of render distance. Um, like if I land here, whip out free cam. Yeah, see, that's the end of the world, <laughs> right? So if my trains get out here, and actually end up, I think, even at a simulation distance, they get out here, they can't actually pick up anything. So if I'm over here doing work, and I... My stuff is calling for mob drops to go to the potion factory. Nothing is actually ever going to pick get picked up. Oh, sure, the trains will go over there, but they're not actually going to pick up anything. All right, so now I need to give the solution. Which I, To do that, I need a crafting table. All right which I've got many of them down here. So the solution, uh, so the solution is going to use beacons. Now, how? Let me show you. See, if I take a beacon and if I, I think if I do that, no, how does, oh, right, I have to do it in a, I have to do it over here in the crafting grid. So if I take a beacon, 
grab some emeralds over here in an automated crafter. Let's hit that button. And it crafted a chunk loader. Right? Now, a chunk loader could be added to a contraption to, surprisingly enough, load chunks. I think I can add these to my trains so while they're traveling along the track, they will load the areas and then, of course, load up all of the storage stuff. Oops, wrong way. Load up all of the storage stuff so they could do their pickups, their deliveries, and all of that goodness. All right, so first thing I have to do is disassemble the trains, which I have to do at the train stations. Okay, so let's uh, disassemble train and disassemble train. All right. So let's see, where would be a good place to put this? I think, I don't know. Let's hop up there and figure out. Oops, nope, that's not gonna go there. Um, I think, I mean, I could put it right behind the chicken. That's not a bad idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do on the, my train here is I'm gonna take that sh that block out. Okay, which maybe looks a little weird, but put that chunk loader in place. Now, there we go. Yeah, that, that looks fine right there behind the chicken. Now, as this train goes around, Assuming I'm understanding how this works correctly, which, you know me, I don't understand how half this stuff works a lot of the time. But uh, if, I, if I'm understanding this correctly, then as my trains go around, they'll now load chunks and do all of the pickups and deliveries. At least that's the idea. All right, so assemble the train, and we'll assemble the train. All right, and let's uh, turn this, the scheduler back on. All right, and this is where things are gonna get potentially interesting. I wonder if um, the chunk will be loaded. I'll be out of render distance. But, I wonder. Yeah, it disappeared. Oh, it's coming this way. Huh. All right, yeah, it's picking up cobblestone. I don't know, did, did a train ever come over here? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could go check the schedule board and just see what it's doing. Oh, there's just so much going on out here. It's like, um... Could you deliver the stuff for me? That would be great. Thank you. Alright, because it's... Definitely crafting all of the... Uh, uh, observers right now. So right now everything is doing... Oh yeah, something's going to potion drop-off. So that's the... That's the theory, or... That, yeah, yeah, mob blaze rod. Okay, 15 seconds out there. And then mob blaze rod to... Truck parking? Uh oh. Time to check that schedule. Oh. Before I get run over, that would be great. Um Yeah, there you go, gang. Yeah. Alright, so I think the easiest way to do this is I, I just want to make sure. Okay. 
Well, it's on. Um, uh, let's just take the blaze rod out. Okay. Cool. So now this would be the second one. All right. This one here. Oh, yeah. Potion drop off, cargo idle. Yeah. So blaze rod, potions, truck parking. Nope, that is correct. Okay. All right, no, nope, we got this. I think we're... All right, so now that's going to send that over. All right, so now, assuming everything is working correctly, that's always the catch, isn't it? Um, I'm hoping, yes, 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 oh, I, it, it's working, so let me, <laughs> we free cam over to the potion room, and my potion storage, which was way down, is now all the way filled up, that means blaze rods have been delivered, in fact, you can see this starting to fill up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So it won't render for me because it's outside of render distance. But the chunk is being loaded. And that means the storage is actually being used. Oh, that is, that is so, so fabulous. Yes, there it is. You can see there's the truck going in and... Maybe we can see it here. Yeah, there it is, dropping off blaze powder. Or it's actually dropping blaze rods. The blaze powder is coming out of the crusher. So, ah, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I love it when things work. <laughs> oh, I, this is, oh, so nice. Ouch. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Whew, I should go in and sleep and... Oh, man. You know, every once in a while, it's like, ah, I've got it. I've got it. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm happy. Ah. I should mention, as we're in here looking at the schedule board here, I did install a new mod. Um, there's a mod out there called um, Create Chunk Loader. Really creative. It does exactly what it does. It's a chunk loader for create. And you just attach that chunk loader to a contraption and it loads the chunks. And it's working wonderfully. Now, it doesn't work across dimensions. Something to keep in mind. But it, I don't need it to work across dimensions. I just need it to work from here to my mob farm. Oh, man, that's fabulous. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, in fact, just free cam over here really fast. Sorry, it's really fast. Yeah, this should be loading up nicely. Because it'll this will stop feeding uh, blaze powder into the mixer. As soon as the, or, yeah, blaze powder. Stop feeding blaze powder into the mixer as soon as that's done. So, oh, yeah, that is wonderful. Oh, that is so nice. I need to set one of these up for magma cubes so I can get the uh, uh, fire resist potion chugging. But I don't have a lot, anything that's using that automatically, so... That one's kind of okay for now. Whew. Okay, so let's, uh, what did I do over here? I think it's, all this stuff is kelp, block, and then thing. Ow. Um. Oh, 
I don't actually have radio links turned on for any of this yet. Got the train storage, which is fine. I don't have anything calling for for kelp stuff yet, so. Okay, that's cool. Um, awesome. Well, then what I'm going to need is a couple of things there. Because I do need belts and stuff. I think, because this is going to come here. Let's see. I'm just going to need... Oops. I guess it was right here. Alright, let's just return everything there for the minute. Um, this one. I need a vault. And I need a kelp block. Alright, so let's set up another... Set up another schedule. And this one is going to be for kelp blocks. Okay. And yeah, so set this up. Go to uh, factory kelp blocks. There we go. Wait for five seconds. Go to travel to station, storage, drop off, asterisk. So anything. And we want to wait there until everything's unloaded. Cool. And then travel to station truck parking, asterisk, because I don't care which parking place you park in. And turn off the loop. Cool. Now let's go ahead and set a filter. Spec data. Awesome. And so this is going to be you. All right, so now the filter set, I can turn this around. All right, yep, went to the right place, perfect. Oh, yes, so now, so this guy here will be item vault and kelp block. Ta-da! So now if I just, if I need kelp blocks, I can just set up a, a, a controller or something and, and have it call for them, <laughs> right? And I could do the same thing. Oh, I put my radio links away because, yeah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's good. So I've got some, I, I've got a bunch of these to set up uh, for various things. Let's grab another radio link and grab a mechanical belt because, hey, I can craft those. I actually am crafting those. And I had to set up the magma cube stuff. So yes, this is going to be Oh, this is going to be cool. Now, this one goes here, so nothing to... Because this one's just going into storage. Just send me mechanical belts, right? So I can just drop them in the storage. That's that's all. Nothing too crazy. Um, all right, same thing. Let's grab a train schedule. All right, and I'm going to need a filter which uh, it's over here. I guess I can take all of the filters, but all right, train schedule. Go to, okay, factory, uh, mechanical belts. Oh, belts, there it is. Okay, five seconds. And then uh, oh yeah, storage drop off, right? Okay. We want it to drop off at the storage, <laughs> and you know, drop everything you've got. There we go, and then travel to station, truck parking, whichever one you want to. Loop forever is off. Awesome. And set the filter. All right, and this is just a quick and easy test. Yep, 
the filter worked just fine. And there we go. Ah, there we go. So now, yep, we should be good. I don't know what's, uh, oh, we got lots of stuff being called for here. We've got, yeah, we've got quartz. We've got cobblestone. Um, I think it's, oh yeah, it's done calling for blaze rods. Apparently he's got, sorry, I know I'm going crazy with free cam, but it's faster. Yep. So yeah, so that's all. Oh, it's doing everything I need it to do. Oh, I love it. Yep, I just need to set one of these up for magma cubes. In fact, let's go ahead and set that up now, since I've got the or magma cubes, magma cream. So we're gonna travel to station. We're gonna go to it's the I don't know mob magma cream. Oops. Magma cream, either of them. There are two, but that's for aesthetic reasons. And go to potion drop off. Oops. Potion drop off. Wait in there till everything is offloaded. And then head back to the parking to pick up your next order. Wonderful. All right. Uh, spec data. Okay. Cool. Now this one is, yeah, we'll just set it right next to it like that. Awesome. Cool. So we'll set this bottle magma cream. Oh yes, this is. See, this is how this is all all works, right? And all I have to do, which doesn't matter what it is. Oh. Hey. Um, oh, I wonder if I set that up on the... I must have. Sorry, I'm going to whip over here. I did. I set it up over here. Cool. All right. I must not have been paying attention, but I already have this set up. I, it's on a... Uh, I went free cam and just double checked. It's I actually have a content uh, or stockpile switch on the fire resist potion tank, so it claims it needs uh, magma cream. So cool. I'm gonna run over there and just make sure everything's set up. But I, th but this is great. It's definitely working the way I expect it to. Yeah. I honestly, I think I need to. Uh, turn around the the switch because I think it's full and I and shouldn't be asking for more stuff but at least the, the tank is full so let's just we'll just get over here and double check given how much I'm going through here I really should just put in a door <laughs> you know all right so that's the magma cream Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's there. Actually, the sugar... I don't know. Let's see. But that one definitely should be off. This one... Yeah. Okay. You know, I can... I can turn that down, probably. No, I want it high, because I want the tanks to be full. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and then that should... I don't have anything sending glistering melons or golden carrots. I do have stuff to send magma cream over here, though, so... But that's full, and so should be off. Now, the sugar... I need to double check because the sugar is, yeah, it's tied to a machine over here. Here we go. So if the sugar is on, um, 
Oh yeah, this this actually would. Yeah, if the sugar were on, so let's flip that. This would actually call for. That actually shouldn't be a bottle. This should be a block. Okay, so we could craft potions of speed if it needed to, right? Okay, so now I'm also using sugar. Um, no, for, oh, right, I have a fermented spider eye. Let's see, how did that go? Oh, no, the, it's, it's the spider eye and the sugar cane. No, that should be sugar, not sugar cane. What am I? What am I missing here? Oh, right. Oh, no, that is bottle sugar and bottle sugar cane. Okay. All right. No, we're good. We're good. We're so good. All so good. Okay. All right. So now. Okay. So that should be on, which then turns locks this. All right, turns out past me actually knew what he was doing. I know it's weird, right? The fact that past me ever had a, a clue about something, but yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> okay, in any case, we definitely have potions brewing. We've got redstone being crafted. All the automation is happening. Is that um, I don't have an off switch in case I'm actually out of uh, out of netherrack. I don't have anything to turn this sucker off. So yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, so that's that is awesome. Everything is working. Okay, you know. I, I, heck, man. I'm thrilled. <laughs> it's, it's working. All right. Yeah, so there might be a... Yeah, there might be a time, because I think you can use... I think you can use magma cream to craft up... Yeah, magma blocks. So if I ever need to craft magma bro blocks in bulk... Um, I could set up a machine to do that for me. And, let's see. Let's grab some buttons real quick. Okay, yep, I've got what I need. So, let's grab... I don't put those. I think I need... I don't remember. I think it's is it four buttons per, yeah, or six buttons per. Okay, cool. So now, if I were to take this guy, oops, and I can program it for item vault, dried kelp, and item vault belts. All right, and. In theory, this should have, well, fortunately, these are all full, so it would send the uh, signal over there. Unfortunately, yeah, I've got a small problem, so I'll have to, and the problem is now my trucks are actually out doing a bunch of stuff, and I think I might have to actually build another truck which is okay just you know I built two I have spot for a third and given how uh, how these guys are going yeah let's I need to get over here and check this because it's I think all of this cobble is going over here
Why is this... I'm not outputting anything. Why is that... Uh... Yep, those are... Hang on a sec. Oh. Why is this... Uh... Um, when they're crafting up and, and going places, I'm not calling for anything. Right? They're not... Wow, it's like it... Oh, I see. Okay. It was facing the wrong way. All right, there we go. It was <laughs> the stockpile switch was checking out the uh, dealy bob there. Okay, mechanical crafter. So I have a zillion observers, which it's okay if I ever need them. I will have them. <laughs> so you know, it's it's great. Um. Okay, those are just going to sit there and sparkle for a minute, I suppose. All right, but I think now that that's fixed, that should be stopping most of my trucks. I mean, the ones that are out there are still going to be out there. But I won't be... I'm not calling for it from the factory upstairs. Well, I guess I, I still am. But at least it'll stop. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, yeah, we'll just load this up, and now it should be pretty close. I don't. I did have this set up pretty high, just because of the time it takes to get cobblestone over here. But this should be the last couple of runs from those trains. So awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, cool. Well, I've got a couple of other things to set up. I'll set those up off camera because that's they're just, you know, just a couple more schedules. Um, because we're almost out of time here, and I didn't get to the other thing I wanted to do during this uh, during this episode. So, I'll guess I'll do that on Thursday. But we also need to get a couple of signals set up. Which uh totally doable. Yeah, it's it's fine. Or, anyway, that's uh that's a problem for future me. In the meantime, let's uh actually I'm gonna go inside. We'll let the trains continue to run, or not run as the case may be. Ah, oh, I I love it. I love it when things work. <laughs> yep. So the last my mouse was sliding. Ooh. Something's going to the potions. Oh, okay. Probably more blaze rods. Or or uh magma cream, you know, that could be a thing too. It's hard to say. It's not uh Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, we'll let that run. I'll move over here so we're not hearing that rattle around. Whew. So yes, lots of fun and excitement there. I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, so I had a little bit more to do, but that's okay. Here I'm gonna drop over here. I want to point you over at my socials uh, over at Music Free Gaming on Instagram, TikTok. Join me on Discord. Um, if you want to chat about stuff, questions about Create Mod or whatever off stream, that's the place to do it. So check that out. There's also a link in the description below for the Discord. Um, so hit that up. And uh, 
more importantly, follow me over on Kofi or subscribe. Uh, subscribers get even get cool stuff. You get uh, some behind the scenes pictures and blog posts, stuff like that. Got uh, subscriber only channels in the in the Discord. So another good reason to get over there. So subscribe over there. It's awesome. It's amazing. And uh, I'll be streaming again on Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.